as classic a Tsume piece as one can get. Um, Azurite crystals, which are turning into uh, malachites, a pseudomorph of malachite after Azurite to an extent, but still mainly uh, Azurite, sitting on this matrix, beautifully perched in this uh, uh, really, really set up for beautiful display. A little bit of a sericite crystal, it seems, sitting on that side. If you zoom into the still pictures, you'll see better. Um, really is not very photogenic, this particular piece. A lovely piece, though. Um, with strong lighting, you'll probably be able to see through some of the sections of the Azurite. Now, let's turn it around on a turntable. So here, we pretty much just have the matrix. Oh, and there's a sticker on my finger. Across like that. Let's have a closer look at this crystalline formation. See how close I can zoom in. I think you can zoom into the still pictures, but this is also there. You can see the crystallization going across like that. Slight coating of um, a dolomite over the faces of the top, the top faces of the crystals. See if you've got little blades there. There you can see in the corner that that intense dark blue. And of course, when you shine a strong light through it, it's as if there's a blue halo within the specimen. Good size, uh, edge to edge. We're looking at two inches plus. Uh, height is probably on about two inches. All the way from the famous old Tsumeb mine in Namibia. Of course, uh, a Tsumeb is, is uh, uh, well known among collectors worldwide because of the versatile array of different interesting mineralization which came from this copper lead deposit.